Hey, sports fans, Coach Nick here, and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Before we get to the Encore demo, I wanted to make clear just exactly what Point 3 does with their shorts. Check this out. They have a special material here on the side that you can use to wipe your hands. It will take the sweat off, but it won't make the material heavy as you run. It's a really valuable tool to make sure that you play well when you're on court. I can't stress it enough. Their shirts are awesome too because the panel is right here and you can wipe your face and get that sweat off of there as well. And again, the shirt doesn't become heavy. So check that stuff out. There's a link below or on the screen. And if you use our link, you get a little bit of a discount. You win. Hey, sports fans. Coach Nick here, and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I'm pleased to have Terry Drake with us as part of the 2015.3 Alpha Summit weekend of crazy, insane encore demonstrations. So, Terry, tell us a little bit about you want to do a two-man drill. What makes this drill so exciting to you? I'm um, basically a two-man action. I call it a two-man action drill, and basically, and when you're studying the game of basketball, a lot has to do with a lot of two-man action, ball screen, action dribble, handoff. And you'll see a lot, whether it's in the collegiate level, pro level, you'll see a lot of two-man action going forward. And a lot of players at a young age don't know how to play in that two-man game yet. But these are drills that whenever you're in the gym with one of your homeboys or one of your homegirls and nobody else is in the gym, you want to get some real serious action in, these drills will be able to help you out. And they're going to also expand your basketball IQ. And if you, as coaches, you want trainers, you can always use these drills. You got two players in, you want both of them to get a lot of work at the same time. These will be good competitive drills to use. Well, I know I speak for everyone out there when I say I cannot wait to see this drill, so take it gotcha. away. Appreciate it. Hey, look, what we're going to do, a quick warm-up. You got two guys in the gym, two girls in the gym, two balls. We're going to work on a little ball handling just to get loose, get warmed up. So I got six players behind me right now, and they're already grouped off in two. I'm going to demonstrate the drill first, and then I'm going to turn it over to them. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to start off here. We're going to go for the sake of time right now, we're just going to do Half, I mean, free throw line, we would normally do this drill whole court, then uh, half court, but for the sake of time right now, we're gonna go uh, free throw line. So we're here, two balls, we get here quick. Here, back throw, back throw. Get it to your partner, get it to your partner. Everybody ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Free throw line to back, go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, get it to your partner, get it to your partner, get it to your partner. Go, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go alternate, 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 alternate. Let's go, alternate. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Come on, alternate. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Quick, 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 quick. Two ball cross, two ball cross, two ball cross, two ball cross. Let's go, two ball cross, two ball cross, two ball cross, two ball cross. Good, 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 good. good, good. Right. Two ball cross. Get out your comfort zone. Get out your comfort zone. Let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Good, just re warm. Good, it, good, it. good. Two ball nice. cross. Two ball good. cross. Good, good, good. All right, two ball through your legs. Two ball through your legs. Good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two ball through your legs. Two ball through your legs. Good. good. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Good, good, good. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Two ball through your legs. Come on, come on. That's just a brief warm up, what we'll do. We will continue to go on with our ball handling skills with two balls, with a two ball behind your back, inside out. We got the white windshield wipers, reverse windshield wipers, push pull, different concepts with two balls, full court, half quarter, free throw line, just a quick brief warm up. Now what we're gonna get ready to well, go. Coach, to let me ask you one quick question, yeah. sorry. Uh, we see these drills a lot stationary. Yeah. You have them moving. Moving. Is that more important to you? Uh, what we do is we'll do it moving, and then we'll do stationary. So we incorporate it all. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, Keep going. Right, so we go. We're gonna work on a little uh, sideline ball screen. I'm gonna demonstrate, and then we're gonna go with the um, six players. All right, here we go. Two balls. All right, here we go. Now, here we go. First ball. We're gonna keep that ball in your hand on the block. So what we're gonna do? We got here. We're gonna set up the sideline ball screen. Not gonna go off the options coming off the sideline ball screen. We're just gonna work on the setup for the sideline ball screen with the ball handler. And then, so we coming down. We here. We square up, we make sure we put the defender in his cage. I like to call it putting the lion in his cage. Come here, without the walls. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. On the bounce, on the bounce. So he's guarding me. I bring him down, I'm here. Now, I, here, on that dribble, that hard dribble right there, is I call putting the lion in his cage. I set him up for the sideline ball screen. Once I set him up, my, 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 my screener is sprinting into the screen. He sprints into the screen, sideline pick and roll. Now, I put him in his, the lion in the cage, and I force him to make a decision. He has to make a decision either to come over the top of the screen or go under. He, if he decides to lock and trail coming on top, then I, I, I'm immediately going to the hole. Now, he decides, 
that he wants to go under the screen, he under, I pop. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Go off for me right now. But the two-man action, what we're working on right now is here. So I come down. I put the line in his cage. Bam, I'm coming off the screen. Pull up there. Now, I pop back out. Now, I get the ball, step up screen. He steps up screen. And then I come off here once again, and I pop right there. All right, so that's what we got. So two-man game. This is the full action right now. Then I'm going to let the guys just demonstrate working. So I come down, we set up, get your ball, get your ball, keep your ball. We got a two-man game, no coaches in the gym. Bam, coming off. Bam. So step up screen. Here, bam. And we're there. All right? So what I need, guys, get with your partner. One base on the block, one up top. Let's go, on the box, on the box. Right. Let's go, go, come on, let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Pop, step up, step up screen. Step up screen. Good, good, good. Now what we're gonna add, we're gonna add the pick and pop. We got the pick and pop game. Come on, Jay, get a ball. Get a ball, get a ball. Now, so here we go, give him the ball. So now, to set up the pick and pop drill, same thing, though, now he doesn't have the ball. So coming off, coming off, pop. Now, pick and pop, pick and pop. Now the ball handler coming off the screen, two hard dribbles away from the screen to create separation and make sure there's separation from the ball handler and the screener. Also, when you got two hard dribbles coming off the screen, defense rotates, defense shifts towards the ball, leaving the screener open for the pop. So here we go. So we're coming here, pick and pop, Jay, pick and pop. Come here, bam. Pop right there, I step back. Once again, flat step up screen, step up screen. Coming off pop, one, two, pop right there. There we go, working on the ball screen. Two man action, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Sprint into your screen. Sprint into the screen. Good, good, good. Get it? Coach, Come I on. got one, two, pop. Good, good. Ho, 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 ho. Good, guys. Good. I got one question. Yeah. I noticed a little trick that I think that you're doing when you're coming around that ball screen here, except setting the screen for me right here. It looks to me, tell me if I'm right, uh -huh. as you get here, yeah. you're touching the back what of his I'm leg. I'm doing right here. Let me explain that. I teach this to all my pro guys, collegiate level guys. I teach it to my middle school guys but in, and girls, but I tell them you, you gotta gauge how the ref's calling the ball. Okay. Calling, calling the game, I'm sorry. So you're guarding me. Yeah. So now, bam, I got you in, your, in the cage. You got the lion in his cage. You decide that you wanna try to shoot the gap. You see the screen coming, mm -hmm. you don't ice it, you don't blue it, you don't blitz it, you try to shoot the gap. I bam, I reach. <laughs> I pull my man into you, and I'm there. Love it. See that action? Absolutely. Now, the thing is this. The higher you go in the game, the less you play with this, and the more you play with these, these, and these, and this. That's what you play with more. So that's what we do. So you see me setting my man up. Bam, set line. I'm reaching bam, and I'm there. So I pull my, and you guard me again, once again. I beat my man to the screen. I pull him into the screen. The ref sees a lot of action right there. He doesn't know who's made the contact. He don't know who's moving. So I just got away with getting myself open, coming off the sideline, pick and roll. Now, what I'm going to get ready to show you now is what we call playing out of the high post. Some people call it the pinch post. Some call it the Texas horn screen. So right now, we're going to play out the high post, horn screen action. And this is what we're going to demonstrate it first. Then I'm going to let the guys go in. Once again, please remember, these drills, you and your partner, you and your homegirl, your homeboy in the gym by yourselves, you need some work to get in, want to get some competitive, intense work in, here's the drill for you. Here we go. I'm working on my man up top. I'm here. I come. Work on a combo move, whatever combo move you want to work on. I'm, uh, keep that ball. Keep it, get, get, it, oh, get one. Get one. All right. So once again, I'm coming. I work here, I feed him, I feed the high post. I'm coming off, I'm coming off the high post, and he doesn't give it to me. I'm coming off, I'm coming off, and I'm here. I set my man up here. Now, he flares up, he kicks it to me now. Once again, we got two men game in, so we're working with two balls, working with two men. So now I gotta have this ball, but we're simulating coming off a pin down screen. I set my man up, one, two steps as I'm driving, as I'm gonna cut baseline, he comes and set the pin down action, Right there, sets the pin down, back up a little bit more. About right there, he sets the pin down. I cut, 
as I'm, uh, I think as I'm cutting baseline, I'm coming off the pin down, balls up top. I toss out for myself, bam, and I'm popping. Now, I go back. Now, what I do now, he has the ball. He goes to the corner. I, he goes to the corner. After I shoot, I set the pin down up for him. He fakes. Oh, no, fake your man in. Fake your man in. Oh, without, without dribbling. Fake your man in. Now, come off, toss the ball off the ball screen, the pin down, and you get into your shot. All right? So there we go with that. So here we go once again, the ball. Once again, this is two-man action off the high post, pinch post, or horn action. So here we go, once again. Up top, you work on a dribble move, combo, bam, bam, combo, I feed, bam, I come off, come off, I get to the corner, ball, he sets the pinch, pinch, pinch ball, bam, I'm coming off, bam, and pop, yeah. I set it up for him, he comes off, and he pops. Once again, we don't have a coach in the building, we don't have a coach in the gym with us, this me and my partner trying to get some extra work in after practice or we go to the gym, we don't have a trainer, we try to get some real serious work in, good drill right here. Combo move, come on. Combo, feet, fake, get to the corner, pass, set the pitch, ah, you got, oh. Listen, one thing about young players, one thing about young players, you, I'm talking to the coaches now and trainers, we got to be able to teach kids how to slow down. They play the game too fast. They always in a hurry and they're never able to see action, never able to pay attention to the details because they're moving too fast. And as you see, we just had a player move too fast. Now, young players that's watching this video, you got to learn how to slow down some, change speeds, change direction, change your angle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fix this right here. So we're here, you're gonna feed the pinch post, feed it. Now, you're gonna take me in, slow, slow, slow. Now cut off, go, bam, get to that corner. All right, now, here we go. Balls in the corner, stop, now slow down. Let him set up the pinch post screen, I mean the, um, the, the um, pin down. Now you fake your man in, fake him in. Now, come hold, hold, slow down, toss off. Now come off and pop, good. Now you in there, pit, shoot, shoot. Now you come set it, you come set it, good. There we go, there we go. No rush, guys, no rush, just get the technique right. First technique, the teaching progress is this. The teaching progress is this. Any drill that you ever do, first technique, then you speed up. First technique, second speed, then you add contact to the drill. All right, here we go. Come on, let's go, let's feed. Good, 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 good. Get there, get there. Sit up, pin, pin, pin down screen. Set your man, oh, no, no, attention to details. Attention to details. Now, if I'm guarding, if I'm guarding you, you're just gonna run up there. You create no separation. You're not making me make a choice of either locking and trailing or going under the screen or going over the screen. So you gotta make a decision. You gotta put me somewhere where I have to make the decision. All right, now, so you fake here, fake me down. Now go off. All right, you come in, come on, get here, get here, get here, get here, get here. All right, sit, sit the pin. This you, attention to details. Attention to details. Come on, let's go, next two, next two. Come on, next two. Good, get there, get there, get there. Good, set it up, set your man up, come off. Good, 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 get it, Jay. Good, good, good. This man up, good, coming off. Good, good, good work, good work. What I would normally do, and what if I was in the gym, if I had two guys in the gym, what we'll be doing, we'll go all the way. 40 push-ups, four laps, four down and backs. 50 push-ups, five down and backs. 60 push-ups, six down and backs. And we would go to, the, to whichever one quits first. And that's who decides, you know, that's how you help your teammates, help your partner, help each other get better. Push them to the point that you black out. Kobe doesn't work out. He calls, uh, used to call his workouts blackouts. I challenge you today to a blackout workout. You think you can handle it? Hit me up and let's talk about it. Hey, I'm hopefully I can one day see you on your basketball journey. And, I, hey, I wish you the best of luck. Hey, once again, I want to thank Coach Nix for being here. And, hey, check out our website, www.point3basketball. Get you some gear. You'll love it. Nick, appreciate it. Hey, Terry, thanks so much for doing that. That's an amazing display of uh, stuff. You, first of all, you had pinch posts in there. Yeah. You got dribble handoffs. Yeah. I'm in. And don't forget, sports fans, definitely get in this drill and do it, and let's see how you do it, and if you can make it through 40 and 50 push-ups yourself. So don't forget, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel. We're a conversation. You in? You in, Terry? I'm in.